Call us crazy, but we like to think a clean car runs a little better. Increase the value of your truck, car, boat, or RV at Avila Detailing in Moses Lake by giving it that special look you've been waiting for. Beat the heat with tinted windows. Let us shampoo or reupholster the inside of your ride. You've put in a lot of miles this summer. Isn't it about time for a tune-up? And keep in mind that we offer free pickup and drop-off. Like us on Facebook for our weekly specials. Avila Detailing in Moses Lake. Give your ride what it deserves. Welcome back. Our next story is about a proposed new clubhouse and conference center in Quincy. Here's Jeff Chu with the story. A proposed 6,500 square foot new clubhouse and conference center at the port of Quincy's Calacum Ridge Golf Course has received positive reviews. The brainchild of the golf course's pro shop manager, Scott Calkins, was recently presented to the port commissioners at a hearing where the public weighed in strongly in favor. The golf course is located about four miles south of Quincy. Calkins, who manages the port's existing 1,400 square foot clubhouse that seats about 25 inside its restaurant, talked about where the vision originated. Phone calls, uh, you know, from everything from people looking for a facility to do a, a, a wedding reception to a class reunion to small businesses that, that needed to have a space to do a, a, a safety meeting. Uh, and then, of course, the golf course itself needs that facility as well to be able to facilitate uh, larger size golf tournaments, uh, you know, everything of that nature. So that's why I just really felt that it would be a win-win situation for both the Quincy Valley community and for, you know, Clockham Ridge Golf Course. He expanded on the proposal. Allows enough seating in a conference center area for about 250 people, restaurant to be able to supply that as well, uh, which also is a good number for the golf course. That 150 range is about a max tournament that you would have here at the golf course, so it would help us out that way as well. Two conference center sites are proposed on the 18-hole golf course off State Route 283 and White Trail Road. The course has been owned by the port for about six years. The proposed site would either be right here, real close to this existing putting facility area over this, uh, this uh, water retainment uh, section that they're not using anymore for that. So uh, that would be, be one option. The other option is actually located in the middle of the golf course, right dead center off of White Trail Road here. Uh, so both of those will be under discussion, you know, once it gets to that point. Pat Conley, a port commissioner for 18 years, said the port will seek a community development block grant through the State Department of Commerce and Grant County to finance the proposal. He explained what's next for the project that would include a banquet hall, restaurant, lounge, snack bar, pro shop, and deck outside. We will uh, we'll work on the grant process and, and just see what the availability of it is. Uh, we'll try and go ahead and come up with the design so we have a, a con more conceptual idea of what it's going to be. We uh, don't have any intentions of, of taking it out of uh, any of our operating funds or our tax revenue base right now. Conley believes the conference center would be a good fit for the Quincy Valley. It's a facility that's, that isn't in really in competition with too many things. It's, it's not big like the community center in town or some other places and it just gives everything an affordable uh, place for people to try and do things. I'm Jeff Chu for I-Fiber One News. We'll be right back after this.